What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 Season 1 and ladies and gentlemen I got a really really awesome tip for you guys that you can go ahead and do to get about 15 to 20 to 25 FPS more inside your game just by changing this little option over here. Now a very very important note is go ahead and close your Call of Duty. You cannot, I repeat, you can't have this open while changing these settings. All right. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to the file explorer over here, go to your documents, go to Call of Duty. Now you might have the player beta over here. Go ahead and delete it. There is no more beta. Go over here and then go to this option over here that says option 3, cod22.cst. Go ahead and open this up with any notepad or anything that you can edit with. Go all the way down to where it says render work account. And my default over here, the number of the default that I had over here was 5. Now, I do not own a 5-core machine. I have a 9700K. It is an 8-core, 8 8-thread 8 CPU. So, you're going to change it to the cores of your CPU that you're currently running. Right. Now, once you change it to the cores of your CPU, or maybe you do not know what the cause is, you're going to open up Google and just type in your CPU and type in specs. So, AMD intel whatever the case might be type in your cpu specs and press enter and then go to the first link over here and then scroll down and then go to your total cores and your total threads now you're going to change it to this number here you can just even just copy this number if you want to close out of this and then go ahead and paste it inside here now i can't do this since my game is still running in the background if i change anything right now it's going to fuck my game up and i don't want that to happen right so once you change the number to the physical cores of your CPU, you're going to click on File, you're going to click on Save, and you're going to close out of this once you are done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once you are done with that, I'm just going to show you something quickly. So as you can see, I'm in my game right now, and I'm doing about 135, 137. Now, I'm running Wallpaper Engine in the background of my game. So I'm using Steam to run Wallpaper Engine, as you can see, that beautiful wallpaper that I have. And then I'm also recording at this very moment with OBS. Now, if I do close my Wallpaper Engine, and I do stop recording, and I don't record a video, I do about 100 and 60 to 162 FPS from 130. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's basically almost a 30 FPS increase by just changing the render work account inside your documents folder. And ladies and gentlemen, this actually does work. Go ahead and try it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at this very, very moment, right now, as you're listening to me right now, go ahead and change your settings to this. Go ahead and go to quality and go ahead and change it to these settings that I have right here at this very moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why Call of Duty is doing all these beautiful things, but at this very moment, right now, since you're listening to me right now, this is the best settings you can use right now at this very moment to have the best experience, best gameplay, less stuttering, less like lag spikes and stuff like that, and really good FPS while playing the game, and your game also looks really, really good. You're going to obviously have this on custom because we're going to start changing things, all right? So you're going to leave this at your render resolution of your monitor. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to upscaling, sharpening, and put this on fidelity cache, go to show more, and put it at 75. 75 is its sweet spot right now. Do not push it up, do not push it down. Leave it at 75. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to anti-analyzing and put it at full mic SMAAT two times, right? Anti-analyzing at normal. For some reason, when you put this at normal, the game looks a little bit slightly better and you don't lose FPS. You literally don't lose FPS by putting this at normal from low. So go ahead and put it at normal. Video memory scale. It will obviously give you a default memory scale. Mine was 80. Yours might be different. Go ahead and leave it at its default memory scale. Once you're done with that, you're going to scroll down. Texture resolution. Leave this at low because your game's not going to look like this. It will still look like that. But if you put it at very low, you expect your game to look like that. Do not put this at very low. It's going to look like dog trash. So go ahead and leave this at low. Texture filter anastropic. I highly recommend you put this at high right now because for some reason at this very moment since recording of this video and the tests that I've done, you can leave this at high right now and it doesn't impact FPS at all. This doesn't impact FPS. This doesn't impact FPS if you leave them on high. All three of them leave them on high. Clutter draw distance. You can now put this at long. It works perfectly fine. It doesn't impact FPS on your game. Particle quality. High. 
Particle quality level, low. Bullet impacts and spray do not have impact on FPS, your GPU, your CPU, your RAM. It doesn't have impact on anything. So put this on. Don't switch it off. Leave it on. Shader quality. I leave mine at medium at the moment because there's no difference between medium and high. Yes, I had this at low before because I didn't really care about my gun skins and how they look. But right now at this very moment, if I put this on medium, there's no physical FPS difference. My gun looks really, really good. My gold gun skins and stuff like that looks really, really good. And they don't look like mustard if I put it on low. Don't put this at low. Put this at me medium. Put this at medium. Go ahead and put this at fucking medium, all right? Once you're done with that tessellation, you're going to put it off. Terrain, memory, max, all right? On-demand texture streaming, off. This at low, this low, this off, this off. You do not need any of these at this very moment, right? These shadow and lighting, I highly recommend you put this at low or on off. If it gives you an off option or a low option, low or off. So low, off, low, 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 off, right? Once you're done with that, these screen space reflections, off. This at low and then this at off as well, all right? At this very moment since I did a bench test, tested my game, and played the game before I recorded this video, right now at this very moment, with my machine, now let's go ahead and test this, On Plus Boost actually gives you a little bit more of an increase in FPS. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. I, for the love of fuck, don't know why, because COD's just fucking great. But anyways, go ahead and put this on. If you do not see an increase in FPS, but you see an increase in FPS on on, or you see an increase in FPS on off, go ahead and change it to that, because it's your own personal preference, right? With a machine that you're currently running. Off, off, off. It's a multiplayer game. You do not need any of those three. What the fuck's wrong with you if you put these things on? It's not a fucking single player game. Put it off. This one over here, film gain 0.00 and apply these settings. Once you apply these settings, you're going to go to view. This is your own personal preference. I can't fucking tell you what to do here. I can't. I can't tell you what to do here. But you are most welcome to copy my settings. Once you're done with this, all right? Now, back in the day, if you scroll down and you go over here where it says restart shader optimization. Now, back in the day, when you click on this and say restart, it will restart your shader optimization here at the top and it will it will say optimization for you know during gameplay it will increase your performance during gameplay and all this fucking no nice nonsense with the first call of duty warzone um right now this very moment when you click on this it does absolutely fucking nothing but what you can do is you click on it say restart then what you're going to do is you're going to go out of the game come back into the game and then your settings will be applied Ladies and gentlemen, if this actually worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're on New Year, and I will be making FPS boost guides more often than fucking ever, because right now, this very moment, Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 don't even know what they're doing themselves. The developers don't even know what they're doing. So, yeah, welcome to Warzone 2.0, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, peace the fuck out.